Hello and welcome to Vintage Wine and Port. This is our short and sweet series. In each episode, we're gonna be going into our cellars, picking out a bottle, telling you all about it, how it tastes, how to store it, and we'll go to Tony and Dia for some fantastic reviews. Uh, today, we're gonna to be doing the Poshas 2018. This is the newest vintage available. Uh, this is a very unique bottle. It's got all these names engraved on it, and these are uh, over 70 people who helped uh, produce, this, uh, produce this wine. Uh, and it's a special wine as well, particularly for Bosch Ask, because this is their 100th anniversary bottle. So there's lots going on. It's a very unique design uh, and hopefully a very unique wine. We'll hand over to Tony and Deer to see what they think. So most years we have the luxury of being able to go out to our good friends at Bosch Ask and try their vintages straight from the barrel and also as soon as they're bottled as well. Unfortunately this year we weren't able to do that, so this is our first tasting of what we hope is a very, very good uh, 2018 Poshas vintage port. As I say, Poshas are one of the few families in Portugal that make port that are traditionally Portuguese. This has gone through from generation to generation. Uh, you'll probably know a bit more about this, Tony, than I do. Yeah, the, they were founded in 1918. Uh, and the same company has been in the same hands of the same family for a hundred years now. 2018 represents their hundredth anniversary uh, and as Andrew said earlier everyone who helped make the wine has been immortalized on the bottle. Shall we have a little sniff? Well I get a lot of uh, red and blackberries there. The fruit is quite concentrated and intense. A young vintage port it's normally has that dark colour um, it's sort of like a, an inky blue, uh, almost, uh, that will later on change throughout its aging process. But for now, it's a lovely, dark, deep colour, impenetrable. Yeah, the great thing about some of the new, release, new releases of ports now is that they're approachable young. Normally, with a vintage port, you'd probably have to wait 10 years before it even slightly became um, drinkable. Whereas the modern styles of winemaking, the different alcohol they use, the spirits they use, mean it's, it's approachable at a much younger point. And so at this point in its evolution, where it's only had just a couple of years in the barrel um, and only a few months in the bottle, it's in a very good place and it's very approachable, very drinkable. It's a very nice, very nice, very well developed nose at, at this stage. Should, should, we, should we try the wine? Yeah. It's actually quite intense. Lovely um, taste of... Um, um, I pick up those violets and I also pick up dried rose petals, um, quite some floral elements on there and also again the, the, the dark fruit, the, like the dark cherry. It's actually very nice to sip. Very nice at this point in its evolution, absolutely. Uh, and the great thing about these wines is they're just going to get better and better with time. So at the moment I'm getting quite a lot of tannins. You still get everything dear said plus a little bit of fairly aggressive tannins now in time what we'll see is those tannins will start to fade the fruits will fade a little bit you'll get a little bit more christmas pudding so over decades this wine will evolve this mm -hmm. has certainly got a lot of staying power so it's got another 30 years life ahead of it so this is the sort of port you might want to buy uh, lay down for 5 10 15 20 years even uh, and then open up and then really really enjoy yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm with you there, Tony. I think this wine, it's, although you can drink now and enjoy, it's absolutely fine to drink. It'll show its true colours 10 years from now. Um, let's say a starting, approximately 10 years, uh, let's say a starting point it will be 2028 and you can easily drink this through 2060. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think um, one thing to say about Poshas is that yeah. unlike some of the wines that are introduced to the English market by what we call the English shippers, the, the more traditional names like Graham's, Taylor's, um, Fonseca that you may have heard of. This is a, a relatively small Portuguese company. The ports have been designed for the Portuguese market, so they're a little bit less sweet uh, than perhaps some of the English shippers that you're, more, um, you're, you're perhaps more aware of. I tend to like these very, very slightly drier uh, ports. They are absolutely glorious. And I find that gives us a little bit more complexity, gives us a little bit more room, um, and, and I thoroughly enjoy it. Yeah, the, the wine is very balanced, the structure, the acidity, the tannins, everything is perfectly balanced. Um, in terms of finish, in my opinion, it has a long finish. 
Uh, the fruit's lovely to follow through. Um, if, if I was to rate it, I would probably put it around 92 points uh, in the outstanding category. Yeah, def def definitely in the outstanding category. Um, this wine's built to last, mm -hmm. uh, really built to enjoy. Obviously, posh us, we're going to pull out all of the stops to uh, celebrate their 100th anniversary. And I think they've produced a, a port that's really worthy of it as well. Mm. This is really, really enjoyable. Um, certainly put it in the mid 90s, 92, 93 points. Uh, well into the outstanding category. Yeah. Really, really good. Mm, fantastic. And now I would look forward to trying this again in a few years time to see its development. Yeah. Mm.